If you've ever come across a widespread bug with a pre-installed system application on Android, then a common method of working around it until an app update can be rolled out used to be finding the app in the Google Play Store and then tapping on the uninstall button. It wouldn't uninstall the application because it is a system app, but it would bring a pop-up that asks if you want to uninstall all of the updates for that particular app. However, if you've tried doing this on Android recently, then you've probably come across an issue where the uninstall button is missing. And that's because Google recently changed how updates to these pre-installed apps can be uninstalled. So let me show you the new method here today. The new process to uninstall the updates for a pre-installed system application on Android starts by diving into the settings application. From here, you're gonna look for the apps menu and tap into it. And you're gonna get a summary of your apps at the top here. But we want to expand this list so that we can see all of the apps that we have installed. Then on this page, you're gonna tap on the three dot menu icon in the top right corner. As this will give you an option to also show the system apps within this list. Now, as a side note, some OEMs like Samsung implement this feature differently and you'll need to tap on a filter icon around here and that's where you'll find the show system apps option on Samsung Galaxy devices with the One UI firmware. Now, after you have shown those system apps, this is where you want to go through this list and find the app that you're having an issue with. We're gonna continue using the Google app as our example here. And you could also use the search button at the top to make this a lot easier. Once you find that app in this list, go ahead and tap on it and then look for that three dot menu icon again in the top right corner. This is where you'll find the uninstall updates option after Google has made this change that we're talking about today. It seems as if this new change happened with an update to version 49.1.32 of the Google Play Store or somewhere around there as some are speculating that this is actually a server-side change that Google has implemented. So, if this video was helpful to you, then I've got to ask that you click on that like button so that YouTube knows more people needs to be aware of this change. And please, share this video on your favorite social media platform too, because that really helps the channel to grow.